morning everybody day 13 uh, we just got dropped off and we will be heading up the trail here in a little bit I didn't get as many videos uploaded as I wanted to but I did get a couple scheduled so you know my video is gonna be really short from this point on until the eight days pass and you know I can get stuff straightened back out like I said YouTube woes have been really really hard um, yeah so I mean we will we're still doing it. We'll get there when we get there and you know, spend most of my Nero trying to fix the YouTube woes, but it just hasn't worked. So, all right, quick videos, only taking what's important. So we will talk to you in a while. All right, guys, real quick. Uh, we're not doing half bad. Our packs are super heavy. Cause we got the eight day supply but they feel pretty good on us so far um when we got dropped off we did 1.1 uphill in 15 minutes so terry's kicking ass uh we're on our way down into a gap so we can take the packs off rest recoup have a snack whatever and uh then we'll move back on up to our site uh, I think we still got a couple more stop stops before we hit the site. It's just under six miles today, and you know, like I said, just under, seven. Uh, under seven. I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, I apologize for having to keep my video short, but I mean, I'm still trying to upload right now on uh, day 10, and I'm having a hard time, so I'm burning through battery, and I, I can only do one charge a day because we have eight days. And, uh, you know, that's if I don't lose any from the cold overnight. So hopefully everything works out and I get all get to keep all my videos and upload. So I guess we'll talk to you in a while. All right, guys. So that's our view so far. We just got down a break at Bull Gap. It's been uphill all day. Uh, we got super heavy packs from our resupply. I think mine's riding at close to 50 pounds, if not more, with one liter of water. You know, we're out for eight days. Not happy about it, but, you know, it's what we got to do because the finances just aren't there to go into all these towns and, you know, pay for shuttles left and right. So, I mean, I wish it was, but it's not. Um, so yeah, climbing all day. Yeah, we've been walking... With this on both sides, you know, pretty much all day. And it's a nice view in person, but it's not gonna make any kind of view for a picture, so. See, so yeah, I really haven't filmed too much. We got like another three miles to do before we're at our campsite tonight. And, and I gotta eat my lunch and dinner tonight for dinner. I had a couple snacks down at the gap, but the pack's just so heavy, I just wasn't hungry. Um, so yeah, uh, it's gonna be a day or two before I adjust to this weight. And by then it'll be a little bit lighter. I think we only have maybe a handful of eight day stretches, so it won't be too bad until we get to those eight day stretches. Uh, then it's gonna royally suck, but Hopefully by the next one we'll be a lot stronger and um, I think we finally have a downhill after going uphill all day. So it's probably going to be a hellacious down. Uh, I'm already at like 45% battery. I managed to get my day 10 uploaded and scheduled. So you guys will be seeing that. I believe it's like April 20th or something like that. I don't know. Uh, probably well this video is gonna be later so you know you've already seen it um, so yeah you know, but I'm gonna let you go and get down this downhill and try not to die all right guys so hopefully we've we're done with our uphills for the day the whole day has been up um, this is our view so far. Pretty nice. I think we have like 
uh, four or five miles left of Georgia. All right, we will be out of Georgia tomorrow. Um, we got like a mile left to our campsite. That's pretty, pretty nice over there. Mile left to our campsite. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the terrain and how it changed as we came close to the end of Georgia. And it kind of opened up a little bit and you know, the trail got smooth. Now it's downhill. I'm sure, I know tomorrow we have to climb up. Georgia's a lower elevation in North Carolina, so we have to climb up to where it is. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Got a fairly, well, it's starting to get a little rooty now, but a fairly decent downhill, which is very much appreciated after a full day of uphill. So, uh, Kelly Knob, we did that the other night in the dark, and that was... That was pretty much an ass kicker. Uh, I didn't have time to film a whole lot because we were trying to catch our ride and we so needed that ride. I mean, we had to get our resupply box. We had to go to Walmart, had to mail stuff forward to uh, right before the Smokies. So yeah, I mean, we were carrying our micro spikes through Georgia. We don't even know why. So, I mean, we got rid of two pounds or we gained 15 uh, so yeah it, it worked out even I mean our view is absolutely beautiful and that's going to be it for now I might take a video when we get to our campsite but I know I'm going to get a fire going I know I want to rest my feet and I know I want to get this pack off so until later guys All right, guys. Well, we made it to our campsite. Got our tent set up right there. Um, might have a nice sunset. Not sure yet. All in all, it's not too bad of a you know, stealth spot, I guess. It's an official campsite. It's an official campsite, but it's more like a stealth spot. Um, it's supposed to be like a piped spring. That's what it shows on the uh at guide and gut hooks but it's not piped at all so the water is there but it's kind of low right now um i don't expect it to be there much longer I already got a fire going uh terry's eating her dinner so i can get her bag hung up uh, so yeah we're just chilling uh we have like 2.2 or 2.4 to the border tomorrow and we will be in North Carolina. So yeah, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna end today and we will see you tomorrow.